everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that I always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders Hey my baddies Welcome back to my channel In today's video I want to take you guys with me To Winn-Dixie To get some ingredients for banana pudding My bestie is cooking Sunday dinner So I'll be showing you guys that too so before we get into the video guys, I want to thank each and everybody for subscribing to my channel. And if you have not subscribed, there's no need to wait. Okay, no need to wait. Hit the subscribe button and your notification bell so that you'll be notified when there's a new upload. Also, don't forget to like it, like it, like it. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. Like and share this video with everybody. I truly appreciate it. And don't mind me looking a hot mess, okay? Look a hot mess today. And it's okay, because it's Sunday and I'm chilling. I'm in Tampa. I'm vibing. I posted some reels of my cat on the security camera talking to me. And she not the camera over y'all. Check out my Facebook reels at Sagittarius Lee J. Red. And I, follow me over there and I truly appreciate that as well. So let's get into the video. So... I knew I needed to come in the produce. We're missing a red onion because we're going to be doing a grinder sandwich tomorrow for lunch. My best friend um, wants to try it. When Dixie has stepped up a lot, y'all, like, they got it going on. They really stepped up. They starting to be real fancy, like, um, Publix. All right, so I found me a red onion. And then really I'm in here just to get some ingredients for um, banana pudding. And I'm gonna show y'all how my best friend makes the banana pudding. I think she makes it, well, I make it the same way as her. And I think I got a video on my channel of it. I don't know, but we are gonna do it again. We are gonna do it her way, it's so good. We just getting us a red onion and some few other things that we forgot. Well, what she forgot, because she went to the store and I didn't come. And I should have went with her so she didn't overspend <laughs> like we always do. But okay, so as y'all know, when Dixie does a lot of buy one, get ones, like public, like I said, they're being more fancy. All right, so what I need to grab is, we're gonna get her some ground beef because she's gonna be making empanada soup. One of these days, I'm, I'm out here and um the banana pudding ingredients so i'll be back when i get to the sugar so aisle she has sweet and condensed milk already i don't need to get that i need to find the aisle actually because it's not on this aisle with like the pudding and the cookies we got to get the chest man cookies and then i'm gonna grab some more sugar because we're going to be making a pineapple tea too and then i'll be showing y'all like what she cooked for sunday dinner all right, so I'll be back when I get to the right aisle. We're gonna grab just another small thing. When Dixie prices are higher than my liking, y'all kind of would hardly ever see me in Win Dixie. So I thought, hey, let me just take them with me in Win Dixie today since I don't really do Win Dixie videos. But we are looking for the pudding mix. I will be back when I find it. So these are the absolute best. They're five dollars, but it's well worth it. These are gonna be the absolute best cookies that you get for banana pudding. Excuse me. We just still haven't found the pudding mix yet, so I'm still looking. This one, Dixie, is a little busy today too. All right, so excuse me. A little busy in here, you guys. All right, let me find. I have not been in with Dixie so long. I'm not in the right location at all. Tell me what y'all think about all the. It's a hard amount in here. So this has alcohol in it. Mountain Dew is changing the game, y'all. They got hard Mountain Dew. A ba ha ha blast. <laughs> hard zero sugar that's crazy y'all mountain dew is showing out they got hot flaming cheeto flavor now they got alcohol flavor i just cannot anyways i'll be back once i find the pudding mix i'm gonna go ahead and go with the extra creamy um Winn dixie brand whip topping 
the Cool Whip one is on sale. They have a coupon, save a dollar on Cool Whip when you buy a bakery fruit pie. So no, we're not doing that. Get this one. Okay, you guys. I just want to show you guys the deli area. They got some leg quarters. They got a little buffet area over here. Let's see what they got. Look like some barbecue, some beef stew, some beans, some macaroni, some black eyed peas. They got a sandwich area where they make sandwiches. They got a cold case. And it's giving very giving much public. So yeah, when Dixie is definitely in the competitor. They got this chicken sandwich or whatever. Yep, so they're definitely competitors with Publix, guys. And I've been liking the organic bananas lately. They actually been tasting so sweet. I believe that's it. So we're going to leave here, guys. And I will see you back at the house. I'll tell you guys what. Tampa's humidity sucks. Like, up in Tallahassee, the air is so easier to breathe in. It's not humid. It's just, like, crisp, refreshing. I feel like I'm dying to breathe here, guys. Anyways... I just wanted to share that with you guys. Tampa humidity sucks. Okay, baddie. So, it looks like your girl is going to be on banana pudding duty. Best friend been in the kitchen throwing down. So, I was like, you know what? I can make it. I'll make it. I'll make it. I forgot to show the sweet cheese. But we do have it in the little feature here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with your large box of pudding mix. Vanilla. Make sure you get vanilla. You do not want to get banana flavored pudding for banana pudding. I know that sounds crazy, but it just works. Get vanilla pudding. Then you're going to measure out three cups of cold milk um, by following the directions on the back of the pudding box. So here's one cup, and we're using 2% milk instead of whole milk, which I prefer. Three cups, and then you want to get your mix mixer and mix into a smooth and everything is smooth and okay, have some salt. Now, I'm bad at mixing no matter how much I mix, mix with. I think you always do have a little bit of little itty bitty bumps. You know, I've got copper color, but this work is really about bothering me, like it really be hurting. Anyways, I tried my best. Y'all see them little lumps? I'm gonna keep whipping though to try to get everything together. So next, what I'm whipping in is a cup of sugar and vanilla extract. And what happened to my clip? Where I added the um cream cheese and the cream milk. Y'all, this is supposed to be a clip where I added one block of cream cheese and one can of sweet and condensed milk. And I don't know what happened to the clip, but that is a step that you want to take before you add your one cup of sugar and your tablespoon of vanilla extract. After you mix all of that in and get the cream cheese smooth, not lumpy like mine, make sure yours is smooth. Then you want to take your whipped topping and get all of it out the bowl and leave it out so that it gets soft. You don't want to um, try folding it in while it's um, tough still or frozen. So look at me trying to whip this with this little raggedy spoon. I tried it. So hold on. Let me go ahead and get me a bigger wooden spoon, which works a lot better. So, because of me still having the lumps in, I'm going to whip with the spoon first, and then I'm going to go back and mix again with the um, mixer to try to get some more of the lumps out. Now, if you don't have the lumps in and everything's incorporated, just fold your whip topping into the pudding and leave it at that. Because my mom told me that when you fold in the whipped topping, you keep its um, thickness or its shape to the whipped topping. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But if you don't have to mix your whipped topping with a mixer, don't. Just, you just fold it in. So that's the outcome of the whipped cream. I 
um, fold it in and mix some more. I just didn't put me mixing it on camera, which I thought I had to put. Y'all, I don't know what, what I'm going through right now. I don't know why I'm missing video clips. I do apologize, y'all. But y'all get it because I already made a banana pudding video before on my channel. If you're new here, um, then this is just like a little quick recipe if you haven't seen it before. But this recipe is all over the internet called Natural Mama's Banana Pudding. So you can always Google it and make it yourself. Now my best friend, she um, adds one cup of sugar to her mix. This is my first time doing that. And the sugar does actually like make a difference. It seems like it's really sweet. But it just kind of like just gives everything like a more of a vibrant sweetness. If that makes any sense. Anyways. You want to get your chessmen cookies and you want to make sure you layer the bottom of the pan with the chessmen cookies. So with these cookies, when you put the pudding mixture over it and you let it sit in the refrigerator and then really the very next day, it kind of turns into like a shortbread cake. Like it is so good. That's why I love using these cookies. So we only use one and a half bananas in the banana pudding two sometimes but you do not want a lot of bananas because keep in mind the bananas do go rotten well not rotten they ripe they get ripe after a couple days and then it turns your banana pudding like brown and then it looks nasty or it looks unedible which is not but you know it's just not appealing to the eye so once you put your one banana and you want to pour your mixture over you see all those clumps still, y'all. Like, I'm so disappointed. I can never get lumps out of my pudding. But I know it's, the flavor is still on point. So, hopefully, my bestie won't beat me up too much. Because she's a pro mm -hmm. at cooking, y'all. Like, I know I'm good at cooking. But, no, bestie is a pro. So, I hope she don't criticize me too much, y'all. <laughs> about my banana pudding failure. Again, I can never get it smooth. Like, I don't got that wrist work, y'all. Like, it be hurting. My wrist be hurting, y'all. Anyway, so after you layer the top of the pudding with chestnut cookies, and you can spread them out a little more. You don't have to make them as close as the bottom layer. You then want to take three. I take about three of the cookies, and I just crumble them on top. Some people add a couple of more banana slices on top, but we just going to leave it like that. And then this is what Bestie cooked for dinner, you guys. We got the fried mother pork chops. We got the black eyed peas with smoked sausage. Y'all, it is so good. Don't knock it till you try it. We got some jasmine rice and some baked macaroni and cheese. And that is it, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, baddie. So that was Sunday dinner over here at my best friend's house. I did not show her cooking or anything because last Sunday I made pork chops smothered. She made hers different. She breaded and fried them, then smothered them. And we're having black eyed peas over some jasmine rice and mac baked macaroni and the banana pudding. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share with everybody. Until next time, bye. Leave everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. Always in my own bag. Never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry.